Welcome everybody. Uh, as you are getting settled into the Zoom meeting, um, I will briefly introduce myself. I see a lot of familiar names on, on the participant list today. My name is Mary Carmen. I work here in the Office of Admission um, and, and we run Terrier Talk um, each week and are visited by various parts of campus. And um, our whole goal is to get some good information out to you guys. Today, we're gonna be um, hearing from two members of our campus community, but before I hand things over to them, I do wanna make sure that everybody kind of knows the rules of Terrier Talk. Um, there's not a lot of them, mostly just uh, that if you would, um, make sure to keep yourself muted. Um, you can keep your video on if you'd like. We're people people. We like to see faces, but keep in mind we are recording. Um, but if you would, just please keep yourself muted so that we don't have any disruptions uh, to the recording or anybody getting that good information. You can look and see who else is here on the participant list. Maybe you recognize some folks from your search or your, your new Wofford community. Um, and then you can also just interact with us in the chat. That's the best way to ask questions of us today. Just make sure that you use that everyone feature. So everyone in meeting. Um, and so those are the rules. Um, uh, we're gonna talk about student success and an orientation overview today. Um, so I will hand it on over to our visitors for them to tell you a little bit about what they do um, and how you can best prepare in the next few weeks. Good afternoon and thank y'all for joining us. My name is Beth Wallace. I oversee first year programming and orientation in the FYI course that you all hopefully all signed up for. Very excited to have you join us today. We are closing in on the final stages of planning for orientation. So I want to just point out a couple of things. We all, as hopefully you know very well, that we have a um, FYI website. I'm going to share my screen so you can see it. And if Mary Carmen, somebody can give me a thumbs up that that is visible. Perfect. I want to go over this. And again, you all should be very familiar with this. But what I want to call your attention to is this moving in and before you arrive. These are things that you can do, and some of them we do for you prior to coming to Wofford. Dr. Lawton's going to talk about student success teams. All of these things, your Wofford ID, taking care of some of these things are all things you can do prior to coming. When you move in, we're going to have a great session next week with our residents live staff about move-in day. And there's some important things that you need to know about that. But I'm going to leave that for them. The thing I wanted to point out to you, once you move in, and again, Big um, information here. It's important for you to have all your checkoff items on your personal check-in list. Uh, of course, this year we do have an additional requirement that you submit either a COVID vaccine record or a waiver to your patient portal. We've been sending emails about that on a regular basis and you will not be able to move into your residence halls without that piece of information also being a part of your check-in list. So make sure you do that so that day can be a stress-free as possible day for you. But what I wanted to talk about is if you go over here in your far right-hand corner, the fall orientation schedule, I just wanna do a brief overview of this. Again, all of this information is available to you. For parents, it's available on the new student information webpage right here while I'm right here on this menu. But as you all will move in, we'll meet and have you register and check in at the Mungo Student Center. Lunch is available on your own or go off campus in the dining hall in Burwell. Commuting students, we welcome you to campus in the same location about 3 p.m. At 3.30, an opening session will happen on the front lawn. Hopefully it's not the weather we're experiencing today because it's pretty rainy. Um, I hope for a hot, August day that day, because it's a beautiful setting for us to welcome our first year students and parents are included in this as well. So from there, there's a brief introduction of some folks and a welcome. We do not stay out there long. After that, the students are going to go into Leonard Auditorium right on the, um, right behind the front lawn into main building. And Dean, Hurley, as well as other folks are gonna to talk to you about responsibility and honor. We do that quickly. 
with you because we want you to understand how important that is to our community, this personal success academically and as you live on our campus and take classes on our campus. Um, picnic dinner, we invite you to join us on the front lawn with dessert at the president's home right across the street. I'm not gonna go through all of this. At this point, I want, um, I don't know if we have any parents on line, but you also have a schedule and that can be find in the, found in the new student information. During this time right here, we have a couple of sessions for parents that will take place down in the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium. And so parents, right here in this time slot, we have a couple of really good sessions for you. One on academic throughout the four years, and then our chaplain, uh, Dr. Robinson, also talks to you about this generation going off to college. And so really good sessions, and that's all together and on a schedule you can find right here. As we continue down, we have residence life section here um, for students who are living on campus. And for those who are not that are commuting, we will also have a meeting for you. So we want you to gather together as we talk about resources for you on campus. We continue through the night. Believe me, by now it's a long day, but we hang in there. This is about meeting your um, student success orientation staff. And Dr. Lawton is going to talk about that. And then we have a first night social at 10 p.m. And that seems late, and it is. <laughs> but we hang in there, and there's still a lot of energy going on. And we serve some ice cream and just very casual. Most people are heading off to get their room settled up and get another good night's sleep. On Sunday, we have brunch that's available. This is a really great thing. We do a class photo. We've been doing this for decades on the front steps of Maine. Again, Dr. Robinson, we have a service in the blessing of the class and Leonard. We go on here, this is orientation staff. This is a student staff. It's kind of taking over some things here. They're gonna do on some um, classroom tours and they're gonna alternate with this community life service at Wofford. One of my favorite things we do, we literally um, take the class down to the Jerry Richardson Indoor Stadium. It's a fun, festive event and we pack over 500 backpacks for six local schools in our area of students who have needs of school supplies. Um, I've been in touch recently this week, I've been in touch with the school administrators at those six elementary schools, and I cannot tell you their gratitude is overwhelming about what our students do. Later, um, the week of Labor Day, actually we deliver those backpacks to the classrooms, and it's such a great thing that our first year students um, become involved immediately with service in our community. Um, here, this eight o'clock session is mostly about um, the orientation staff, uh, introducing you to student life, and also about social opportunities to get engaged. On Monday, early, bright and early, we have academic advising meetings that you'll meet individually with your academic advisor. You all have registered, and they just check that off. You get a good greet and meet and you see if there's any changes you need to make, and that's the person that you meet with that you'll talk to them about that. Then we load the buses, uh, about 10 Greyhound buses, and we go up to Camp Greystone in Tuxedo, North Carolina, which is a, about an hour, 55 minutes to an hour away. We spend the whole day up there together. It's a great time. It's a beautiful camp up in the mountains. We play, um, the orientation staff runs that day. We do all kinds of fun games and get togethers and small groups. And we have a wonderful lakeside picnic along with um, this crazy dance thing that goes on. And we return to campus later that evening. Tuesday, drop ad. Just this is a reminder that this day's open. So no panic if since we're at Greystone. If you still need to drop ad classes, plenty of opportunities to do that. One of the highlights of field day for my orientation staff is this field day competition. They go back to middle school days, and I'm telling you, they are fierce and competitive and bragging rights for the year about who won in field day competition. We do a round uh, campus, campus classrooms, information sessions, and that's we just try to do a variety of sessions. A lot of what we've talked about on Terrier Talks this summer that go into more depth just about how, how you can be successful as a student at Wofford. 
we just take a couple of hours to make sure you're getting all the information you need. Dinner with your orientation group to wrap up the few days ahead of schedule and then classes begin. Uh, a week after classes, we have a big interest fair and that's mainly all of our organizations that will um, have tabled, think of a big interest fair, career fair, but it's for organizations, these students want you to be involved in their organizations, you will have an opportunity to talk to all of these folks to see what interests you to get involved with at Wofford. It's really involved that you, um, it's really important that you get involved that's what we have found um, in research that students who get involved are the happiest and, and most successful in college, not just your classroom work, which is very important, but to find that balance of enjoying um, student organizations and your social life as well. That is a very quick overview. Again, more information on this new student information webpage, which is on the Wofford, not um, a login. All of this can be found here, moving in, um, first steps, things like that, and parents can access all of this information. I'm gonna stop sharing and turn it over to Dean Lawton to talk about something that is really unique to Wofford. I'm glad to, to see you again, or at least to see names. And I'll say there is one parent online who has a background picture and I have seen you at every single one of these I've done. And I appreciate one face out of all the black rectangles, one face looking back at me, so thank you. Um, and I'll start too, I know we have a mix of parents and students. Um, I have said in, in other sessions, my oldest is returning for his sophomore year of college, 11 hours away from here. Um, I dropped my youngest off at college on Saturday. Um, to the students, I will say, be nice to your parents, understand we've it's, it's hard. Uh, I cried. So um, don't throw your parents out the door and, and be kind to them on the way out. And parents um, try to understand they want to get on and move on and, and leave us behind. Um, so the student success teams that we've talked about, we try very hard to create a network of people around each student coming in. And so the student is the center of the team. Um, the very neat thing is that first night when um, Dean Wallace said, you know, they'll meet with their orientation staff members that first night that they arrive on campus. Those are the O staff members that are paired to that group of 20 students for the whole semester and, and can last longer than the semester. But, but really for a lot of that first semester, they're gonna be an integral part of their getting to know Wofford and feeling like Wofford is home and they're a part of our community. They'll go do all these orientation activities. Um, they will bond very closely at the end of that several day period. I guess Saturday and, and classes start on Wednesday. Wednesday morning, they will go to their FYI class or Thursday, whenever their class is. They'll walk in the room and they know every other student there because that orientation group was built around the first year experience course. And so again, that's a really nice thing. You walk in and you know everybody else there. The FYI instructor is their, um, their student success staff member. So it's kind of interesting going into a room of students when everybody knows each other, but we don't know any of them. Um, but that instructor will help them through that course, and they're there to answer all kinds of questions throughout the, the semester. Um, we have just gone through a full day of training today, so if Beth Wallace and I look a little exhausted, it's because we've been going at it hard since early this morning getting ready for this semester of classes. Um, we have gone through, many of us, many years of training to, to keep making that course better, to keep making sure that we are aware of the needs of students coming in, and that we know how to um, get them to the right people who can help them with their issues. So we've got orientation staff members for each student. We've got a student success staff member working with each student. And then in that class of 20 people in the first year experience course, there are gonna be two academic advisors assigned to that group. So half will be with one advisor, and half will be with the other. At Wofford, the faculty advisors or the academic advisors are faculty members. Um, they've been here at least a year. We don't let new, new faculty members advise because they just, they aren't aware enough of the community yet. But I think it's a great resources um, as compared to many schools which have a professional advisor. Um, ours actually are in the curriculum. They know the system really well. They will get to know your student. They are, and for the students on here, know that your advisors can be really, really good recommendation writers, especially early in your college career. If you find yourself needing a reference for any number of programs um, or things that you're applying to, your advisor is somebody you can know. The advisors are gonna to wanna to have a relationship with you. And my office actually funds the advisors so that they have funds to 
take the advisees out to a meal, um, take them out for coffee, but we want to get a relationship going there so that you feel comfortable talking to each other. Anybody that's had problems with your schedule after registration ended, you've probably been writing to advising at wofford.edu or you've written me directly. Um, and because my job after advising and before you arrive on campus is to fix all the schedules with issues. So I know I've dealt with a, a lot of students in that interim time. But when they arrive on campus, if there are any remaining schedule issues, they meet with their advisor and they can, they'll have a time for free ad drop after that meeting. Uh, but the goal really is that first advising meeting should be a get to know you meeting. And students, I would really say as if you're introverted or extroverted, get out of your shell if you're introverted, tell your advisor, here are my concerns, this is who I am, this is what I like to do. I do or don't know what I wanna do with my life, you know, but I've, here's some big broad issues, but get them, you know, make yourself memorable in a good way um, and get to know them and don't be afraid to communicate with your advisor throughout the semester. They're here because they wanna work closely with you. Okay, so student success team, we've got orientation staff members, the um, FYI instructor, who's their student, uh, uh, their staff member for support. You've got the faculty advisor, and then the last piece of that team is the personal librarian. Uh, and so every single student has a librarian assigned who will help them with their library research, um, understanding what the library has to offer. The librarian will come to the classes and make sure they know them there, um, but they will work with them for the first two years to make sure that that's a, a, a good contact that can work with all the students uh, through that. So again, whether, whether the problems be academic or social or research or whatever, um, there's somebody connected with each student coming in the first year class, and then we work together as a team focused on the individual to provide support wherever we can, because um, we don't want we don't want students to fall through the cracks. We don't want them to feel like people don't care. We don't want them to feel like they aren't a part of the community. We want this to be to be their home for that. What did I leave out? Mary Carmen, do you want to open us for questions? Yeah, we can certainly open up for questions. I haven't had any in the chat yet, um, but if if anybody has questions, we'll just kind of give a, a general call out. You can add those in the chat, um, or um, maybe you've gotten all of this good information and it was exactly what you're looking for. Um, is there any final kind of pieces of, pieces of advice um, you guys would give to these incoming students and parents of incoming students while they think of some good questions? Uh, what I would say, and again, this will be covered next week, but it is so worth uh, repeating. <laughs> that if you will go on your FYI tab and your checklist to have everything complete the, I mean, and I, I don't, I'm not gonna name them all. So things where in the um, checklist where it's the medical form, the COVID information that you need to do, um, your car registration, your ID, the business office, financial aid, any last minute issues there. If all of those things are completely checked off, and again, this will be repeated next week on move in logistics. But if all of those things are checked off, I promise you your um, registration that day in the Mungo Student Center, you will be handed a card checked off and you will go directly um, to pick up your room key and instructions for the next for the rest of the day. It it really is a beautiful thing. So if everything is not checked off, let's say you haven't completed your medical form, you will have to go meet with our um, director of the medical services, get that complete, whatever it takes, whether it's waiting to get some immunization records faxed over to us or to complete a medical history. Those things have got to be complete before you become a student um, on campus, living on campus. So it really behooves you to look through that in the next several days, get it all done. I promise you, your day is gonna be so much more pleasant. There's an opportunity to do an ID photo online, um, think passport photo, then your ID will be here waiting for you and you'll pick it up. It, if not, you gotta go stand in line and have your picture taken and want your ID to be ready. So we really have made all of these things available to you. Um, that is my best advice. And those where we see the smiles on that move-in day, when then you can just spend time with your family and, and enjoy setting up your residence hall or, or meeting people. 
Absolutely. I can definitely vouch for that checklist. I, I, I moved in quite some time ago, uh, but I had to kind of run around campus. And if you can have your own selected photo rather than maybe a, a sweaty ID photo after you've been moving in all day, that might be uh, better to have for four years. So, <laughs> Boyce, were you, you going to mention anything? I was going to say now is a good time to have those last minute talks that maybe you've been putting off. Um, you know, our parents going to be seeing grades. Uh, what's the deal with that? With with mine, I'm like, I don't need to know what you're taking during the semester, but I'm paying the bill. At the end, I want to see the courses you took and the grades you made. You know, that's that's my stay out of your business kind of thing. Um, what are we going to do about money? You know, have you talked about those kind of issues? What are our expectations both ways? Well, I want, the last thing my wife said to my last son when we dropped him off was, all right, we haven't had the communication talk yet, but we're going to agree as a family we expect, so for us, it's Sunday afternoon. You know, we're going to have a call on Sunday afternoon once a week, and we'll leave you alone other than that unless you need us. But it's good to get those little things out of the way um, that maybe one side is making assumptions about, and it's just easier to be clear uh, and, and do that. And then I would say, Dean Wallace and I, between us, have over 50 years of experience at this school. We are a good, it's because I have 40, and she's been here, you know. Uh, we are a really good set of two people right now as you were getting excited i hope really excited you can throw anything at us and we should be able to answer almost any question out there so ask we did get one question um uh, but move in time the start date the start time is 8 30 and that's for everyone or are they assigned a time we um are pivoting a little bit from what we did last year we did assign a time but we are opening the gates up um, and you may come at any point, 8.30, uh, and we have people lined up long before then. So be the first in line if that's who you are. But we get that accomplished pretty quickly, and we'll be there till about 11, 11.30. And a surprise is that at this point, hopefully nothing will change, but we will help you move your belongings up to your room. And that ends up being a really fast process if you take care of your checklist. <laughs> yes. And label all of your belongings. And label everything. Where you're living. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, that was the only question that we got. Um, that just means that everybody's probably feeling well prepared. If you have any other questions or they're just more specific, um, I know others on the call have mentioned this, but we are all here to answer those questions before you get here. Make sure that this transition as, is as seamless as possible. Um, and so please let us know if we can be helpful. Give us a call, shoot us an email. That's probably the easiest way to get in touch with folks these days, email. Um, so we will look forward to seeing you guys next week and we will talk about move-in information, um, which will be uh, super exciting as we get closer to that, that move-in date. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Have you for coming.